All right, factoring hard, er, trinomial, still three terms, but this time we do have a coefficient, a number, next to the x squared term. This makes it a little more difficult for us to deal with. For example, 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. Now, some people are pretty skilled at just breaking these into factors in their head, but if you're like me, the long way is going to be very helpful because it always works. To make factoring hard trinomials easy, we're going to use three simple steps. First, find factors of AC that add to B. Second, replace B term using those factors. And third, factor by grouping. These are all things we've kind of worked with, so hopefully it'll come together real well. Let's try this out with 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. 4, sorry. First, 2 times 4, the factors of A times C, that's going to give us 8. And we want factors of 8 that add to your B term, 6. Those factors are going to be 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 plus 4 is 6. Second thing we want to do is replace our B term using the factors we found. So we're going to take this 2 and 4, and we're going to substitute, replace that in for 6x. That's going to give us 2x squared, and instead of 6x, plus 2x, plus 4x, we can see that 2 plus 4 is 6, so it's the same thing, just rewritten differently, plus 4. Lastly, we want to take what we've rewritten here with 4 terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, and factor by grouping. If you remember to factor by grouping, we split these up into two groups. Factor each group individually. That'll give us 2x times x plus 1 and plus 4 times x plus 1. And then we factor out the big group, which is going to give us x plus 1 times 2x plus 4. This is our factored answer. And if you wanted to check, you could distribute everything out, and it should bring you right back to where you started at this 2x squared plus 6x plus 4. Let's go ahead and try a couple more examples. Here we've got 5x squared minus 8x plus 3. First, we've got 5 times 3, a times c, to give us 15. Then we find our factors. Negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. Negative 3 plus negative 5 adds to our b term, negative 8. Second, let's take these factors and replace them in for our b term. So instead of negative 8, we've written negative 3x minus 5x to give us our four terms. From here, we can group. Ain't no party like a grouping party because a grouping party don't stop. We can pull out an x, leaving 5x minus 3, then a negative 1. Remember, this sign has to flip, so we get a 5x minus 3 also. Perfect. Taking out our group, we get 5x minus 3 times x minus 1, and we are done. One more problem. One more problem. Okay, okay, got to give the people what they want. This time I'm going to go a little bit quicker, see if you could follow. 2x squared plus x minus 6. We multiply our a times c to get negative 12. The factor is negative 3 times 4. Multiply to negative 12. Negative 3 plus 4 gives me that 1. Replacing those in, I get 2x squared minus 3x plus 4x minus 6. From there, I can group, pull out an x, 2x minus 3, plus, pull out a 2, 2x minus 3. That leaves me with factors, and my final answer of 2x minus 3 times x plus 2. The more of these you do, the more you practice, the quicker you can go, and it's actually not that hard after all.